Hey everyone, this is Rushlock, and this video is about the Doctor Who events, and most importantly, how to get started. This is the most common question I had in yesterday's long stream, and as I kind of expected, coming out of the NPE, or even uh, players who have played for a while, didn't really have like a direct communication for how to get started with the events. So what you're going to do is go anywhere in space, high sec, low sec, null sec, wormhole space, uh, trig space, everywhere, has cosmic signatures that you can scan down with your probes, okay? You're looking for a relic site called a time matrix uh, convergence, or, or warp matrix convergence. Um, you, It's a relic site, you warp into it, you hack cans. Uh, there are red and blue wormhole symbols. Those denote uh, a speed buff and a debuff. The red one will debuff you, the blue one will buff you. Basically, speed. Uh, they're more prevalent or more relevant in the combat sites we'll talk about later. Uh, but when you're scanning and hacking, they're just speeding your ship up and slowing your ship down. Once you complete the relic sites in regular space, you'll keep farming them until you find a curious warp matrix blueprint. Then you'll need to find a station with industry capacity. So click the name of a system you're in, uh, check structures. You can usually tell by the name of the structures themselves. Um, whether they'll have, you know, in industry or not. Like in assembly plants, industry, good. Uh, pretty much everywhere else, not so good. So find a, a station that has industry so you can actually build your blueprints. Uh, the blueprints take about five minutes or less, depending on your skills, to uh, build. Uh, industry and advanced industry will decrease the time needed, but it's five minutes either way, so it's not bad. It doesn't really matter. Um, the materials you get from the Curious Warp Matrix uh, should allow you to build also the level 1 uh, combat filament called Precarious Warp Matrix. Uh, these blueprints can also drop off of the uh, level 1 explosive site. Uh, in a lot of farming yesterday, I saw a lot of Curious and a lot of Precarious filaments or blueprints for them. And I only saw one, well I saw two uh, level 2 explos and one level 2 uh, combat drop. So they, they can drop, obviously they drop really low. Uh, the way this event is designed, it seems to me, they want you to spend more time in K-Space and you should look at your filament sites as a, a bonus loot option. Uh, so you go in, you pop your filament, you run in, grab materials, you come back out, and you'll probably need to run more K-Space sites to, to go to your next filament. Um, and you need enough T1s to craft one T2, you need enough T2s to craft one T3. Uh, for exploration, there are three explo sites. Curious, Enigmatic, and Mysterious. And for combat, there is Precarious. There's four of them total, sorry. Precarious, Hazardous, Dangerous, and Perilous. Um, and so you'll find blueprints for them. You'll find materials. You'll build them. You'll run them. You'll run out of uh, blueprints or uh, filaments, ideally. And then you need to go back and farm some from case space. Uh, obviously, this is all changes if you're working with a group and a bunch of people are funneling you know, resources into you. You'll have a much different experience. But if you're out there doing it yourself with what you find yourself, that's how it'll work. Um, but yeah, that should cover how to get started with the events. Uh, look for relic sites in any space. The big thing to take away is that low sec has a higher spawn rate. So you can find them in high sec, low sec, null sec, wormhole space, and trig space, but you'll find more of them in low sec. The loot tables are the same. The only difference is the spawn rate or the spawn pool, the number of sites uh, available is going to be higher in low sec. So... Hopefully I guess you started. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.